Hello and welcome. I want to review one of the most frequently missed concepts on accounting exams with you today. And that is, what exactly is the operating cycle? First we'll talk about how you determine the length of the operating cycle and then we'll extend that discussion on to include a full definition. The operating cycle begins when enterprise has an outflow of cash. In a service industry type of business, that may be an expenditure for wages or supplies. But with a merchandising type of business, that usually begins with the payment for inventory purchases. In our example, let's assume that we're looking at a merchandising entity. That is, one that buys and sells inventory for a profit. Resources flow from the cash account into the inventory. The operating cycle can lengthen here as merchandise is produced or sometimes sits on the shelf while it awaits being purchased. This length of time is determined by the nature of the business and the type of the inventory. And again, we'll discuss more about that later. When a customer purchases the inventory on credit, the resources flow from being tied up in inventory into being tied up in accounts receivable, where it again can sit for as long as the customer's credit terms dictate, which is often 30 to 60 days. Finally, when the customer pays off the amount due on their account, there is an inflow of cash back into the checking account. This, then, is the length of the accounting cycle. In other words, it is the length of time that it takes for cash to flow out of the business into inventory, into accounts receivable, and then back into cash. Let's explore now how long that can be by examining three types of businesses. How long would the operating cycle be for, let's say, uh, neighborhood produce stand which deals in cash sales. Let's assume the stand pays for its fruits and vegetables and then collects the cash payment for them nearly immediately. This is a very short operating cycle, perhaps even less than a month. Now consider an automobile dealership. A car dealership turns over its inventory between 60 and 90 days and it's paid for the sale almost immediately, or at least as soon as financing arrangements can be made. So the operating cycle for an automobile dealership is probably around 90 days. Now consider a shipbuilder. Depending on the vessel, it can take from two to three years to produce the inventory and then sell it. Look at our lovely sailboat. How would you like to be on that tooling around the Caribbean? The operating cycle always accommodates inventory. The official definition is the operating cycle is the average amount of time it takes to go from cash to prep, from cash to cash, and producing revenue. Again, the average amount of time it takes to go from cash to cash and producing your revenue. Let's give you a real applicable example of that by defining current assets. A current asset is one that is expected to convert into cash or to be consumed within a year or an operating cycle, whichever is longer. And that is longer because sometimes it takes longer to accommodate an asset that is sitting in inventory. So the operating cycle is crucial in the definition of current versus non-current. And it goes, it begins from when cash leaves an organization, flows into inventory, flows into accounts receivable, and then enters back into the organization's checking account. It is quite literally 
from when cash leaves to when cash returns to an enterprise. Hopefully, that helps you understand the definition of an operating cycle and how it can be extended to the term current assets. Thanks for joining me, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.